Hi, I'm Chris Bennett, Technical Service Manager for Masterbuilt. Today I'd like to discuss a few things that will help the efficiency and operations of your ice cream hardening case. One periodic check that can be easily done is taking your hand, going around the outer edge of the door and make sure that there's no air leaking through the gasket. Go all the way around the door, each side along the bottom, and then the top as well. After doing that, you can open the door, fully exposing the gasket, and then you can look for any tear marks or abnormalities in the gasket. Also, when the door closes, you should hear it make the seal. This particular model is also equipped with inner doors, which help with the efficiency. You also want to make sure that they are operating as they should and closing properly. There's a magnet on the inner of the door that connects that is supposed to close the door. As you see, this one is working perfectly. This particular case has a wide range of operating temperatures. It can be operated from zero to minus 37 degrees. Some store owners feel the need to adjust the temperature to better optimize the performance of their case for their particular needs. This is easily done by adjusting the temperature on the electronic control. It is done by holding the I button down until set point is seen and then is adjusted either by the up key or the down key. Once the desired set point is reached, you remove your hand from the I button and it is now set. A visual inspection of the evaporator coil should be performed as well. You can do this easily with the use of a flashlight. If there's debris found on the fan guards, simply remove the debris and wipe down the fan guards. If the evaporator itself appears to need cleaning, you would more than likely need to contact your service agent. And for technical assistance, there's a sticker on the inside of the case with a 1-800 number. Located on the top left of the case. One of the things that you can do is keep your condenser coil clean. On this particular model, the coil is very easily accessible from the rear of the cabinet. Cleaning of the coil can easily be done by using a normal everyday brush and brushing the dirt and debris down and away from the coal. Keep in mind that the unit does need to be off during this process. As the air intake goes through the coal and you want to brush the debris out. One procedure that is commonly overlooked during installation is the removal of the shipping blocks that are placed under the compressor. Upon installation, the half inch nuts need to be loosened and the shipping blocks removed before operation. Thank you for viewing today's video. We hope that it was very informational. If additional assistance is needed, please dial 1-800-684-8988 and one of our technical service representatives will be glad to assist you.